Well, I'm excited about this uh, class that we have begun as part of our Forerunner School uh, and part of our ministry called Life School International. Uh, in late 2020, the Lord put on my heart to start a school called Forerunner School to equip those who were called as forerunners in the spirit and the power of Elijah. Uh, for about 25 years or so, our church has been pursuing that uh, calling uh, to make a bride ready uh, for Christ and all, and all the different aspects of what is involved uh, in that. And so the Forerunner School was uh, just another step in that, uh, in that journey. And this class, uh, Becoming an Eternal Purpose House of Prayer, uh, is one of the classes in that school. Uh, actually, two things happened in some between the years of 2015 and 2020 or so that really had a tremendous impact upon our ministry and have resulted in a lot of the materials in this school. Uh, in 2015, we had an encounter, and it, we go into it in the class, but I won't go into it here, an encounter where the Lord summoned us to the golden altar, which is Revelation chapter 8, uh, verse 1 through 5 or so. And in, in, in the class, we'll go into that. But we were summoned to the golden altar. And about the same time, shortly after, but about the same time, we began to get a revelation of God's eternal purpose. And his eternal purpose being to make ready a people prepared for the Lord, which was a bride made ready uh, and a mature son for the father a corporate son for the father. And so out of that, we've come to this class, which is focused on the need to pray in order to see those things come forth. And in our forerunner school, we have a number of classes that teach on all of these things. But this class particularly focuses on the need to pray into these things. So in this class, there are nine sessions in it. And in these nine sessions, we deal with some foundational principles of what an eternal purpose house of prayer is, a little bit of review about eternal purpose and what the, some of the tenets of it are. And then we get into various prayer themes. We deal with four different prayer themes. We deal with praying for the corporate man, the, the bride made ready to arise in the, in the church. We pray for uh, the call to resist the great harlot and the spirit behind that harlot. We, pr we have a session on re restraining the spirit of Antichrist that would come uh, to try to uh, hinder the bride being made ready. And then we have a session on praying for Israel because Christ will ha establish his throne in Israel, in Jerusalem, and, and the Lord wants a Jew Jewish bride as well as a Gentile bride. So those would be there. Then we deal with a variety of other principles to help us as inter our intercessors to build an effective uh, prayer function focused on God's eternal purpose. So I hope you'll join us in this. It's a very needed time in this hour, a very needed uh, topic and subject, and uh, we're excited about it, and I believe these nine sessions will help you uh, to be a part of that. Uh, and if you're interested in being part of the Forerunner School and not a part of it now, just email us at info at restorationlife.org uh, and we'll get you signed up. There's no charge for it and it's all online. Uh, for We have students from all over uh, the world involved in it. So God bless you and hope you'll be a part of this uh, as we raise up a corporate house of prayer around the world.